the fight of faith I don't look away I don't run away facing all welcome life. back to half man up tech my name is Ben your host so I've been testing and using Mac OS 14 Sonoma on the channel for the last couple of months and the current version that I'm on right now is the release candidate version on my 14 inch MacBook Pro that I'm using right now the update size came in at exactly 12.84 gigs updating from beta 7 and the download file size increased to 14.09 this update does polish up mac os 14 sonoma in a large way and it brings us a closer a step closer to the official release and polishes most of the glitches and bugs and issues as i'll show you in this video now the current build number i have on file is 23a339 now this build number could be final so we talk about more about that and then also if we go back to general and go to storage and we just want to see how much storage mac os 14 sonoma the release candidate version which is a candidate for the final release is taking you can see it jumped a little bit it's taking 21.26 gigs nothing to be scared of but just a little bit higher than usual maybe because this is a candidate for official for an official public release now also when it comes to some of the changes that this update introduces the first one that i should highlight out there if you have airpods or airpods pros or airpods max then you want you want to connect your device and then go to the bluetooth settings of your airpods and then do a software update i did do a video on the channel showing how you can do that but there's a new airpods update that has a build number that is 68300 and that unlocks a bunch of new features and changes for your airpods and some of those features were announced by apple when they released the new iphone 15 at the wonder last event that's a good thing and when it comes to this update too i noticed that there's a pop-up screen that came about the new icloud terms and condition now at the wonder last or iphone 15 event apple announced new additions to the storage capacity for icloud plus so i'm suspecting maybe that's why they had to um include these terms and condition but it's also a good thing that hey you now have i believe up to 12 terabytes of icloud storage that you can now be able to subscribe to with apple i've been testing this device to see connectivity with airdrop and handoff and for a fact i can tell you that this update is the one that polishes most of the bugs bluetooth working as it's supposed to airdrop and handoff they are now working in a good way and then when it comes to performance i want to show you something because this is actually crazy so i did a performance test with mac os 14 beta 7 the one i was on before i updated and you can see the results that i got here you know it was a uh, 1000 10 for single core and multi core i got a score of uh 3771 now with this new version mac the the one that i'm on the release candidate you can see here if i open up my geekbench score look at the difference so this has 1758 and multi-core i have 9606 9, which is this is three times the multi-core of beta 7 and this is almost twice the the performance of the single core that i had on beta 7 you do see the beta 7 right here and this one is the rc so performance wise to the moon that's a good thing and that's why i'm you know i know for a fact and the, i i can feel it for a fact because this update just feels overly more polished and smoother and performance wise you can see the results for yourself now also something that i want to share with you here is is that i've been testing the main new features and changes for this update and i want to show you a couple just to show that some of the bugs and issues have been polished so for example this is facetime that you see right here the video camera that i've selected is my iphone 14 pro that's why the quality looks a little bit good hopefully it looks okay and check this out some of the features thumbs down thumbs down thumbs up then if i do the hearts 
then if I do both hands like this, rainy, if I do celebration, this is amazing. Now, unlike before, you know, from the previous update that I was coming from, there is no delay at all. You can see these animations are working perfectly. And then if I go here and go to um, the video options, so if I go to this FaceTime and then zoom in and out, before there was an issue with this, and you can see, you know, I'm looking down because my phone is placed on there just above the keyboard you can see if i zoom in this is now working good zoom out and then portrait is good this is portrait off studio light if i switch it off you can definitely see a difference and it's not like before where the main facetime that you see was frozen while the little screen in the top right corner was the one that was moving so this is good and then also desk view works but i have so much stuff on my desk and something else that i wanted to show you here has to do with the widgets you can see my desktop i try to keep all the widgets you know just put this one and the batteries and for a fact you can see that this is has been fixed when it comes to the battery widgets because i just connected the mouse and you can see the mouse right there before it was just all Bluetooth icons, Bluetooth here, Bluetooth there. You couldn't tell whether this was a mouse, a computer, a keyboard and so on. But all my peripheral devices are now showing up and my widgets too that I have on my iPhone. I think now I can remove it that I have on my iPhone are showing up as they are supposed to. So that's a good thing. And if you go to this Apple beta page, beta.apple.com, that is the domain. And then you go to Mac OS 14 Sonoma, you can see that this update is delayed compared to like iOS 17 or watch OS 10, which is a bit unfortunate. So you can see instead of coming out on monday it's coming out on the 26th of september and that's a little bit bad because ios 17 and watch os 10 and tv os 17 are coming out on the 18 but mac os 14 sonoma is being released a week later and in case you are curious to know if this is update is going to be supported on your mac just to show you some of the supported devices, you can see them here and you can see for the, for example, for the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro, you need a 2018 and later, and then Mac Pro 2019, Mac Studio 2020, Mac Mini 2018, Mac Pro 2017 and iMac 2019. So those are the supported devices. Hopefully this gives you a hint and um, a brief overview about Mac OS 14 Sonoma in general. I'm liking the way things are progressing right now. And um, if you are thinking of jumping on the beta right now, I would say maybe this is not the right time because we still have a week to go. So within a week's time, some things may change. We might get another, you know, release candidate version number two. But if you're already on Mac OS 14 Sonoma, uh, betas like you're on beta 6 beta 7 i would say this rc version is it's it's pretty good it's polished as you can see so that's about it for me guys when it comes to mac os 14 sonoma i'll be covering it when it comes out officially and doing more testing and maybe I'll, I'll i might cover the main features and changes of this update if you found this video helpful in a way leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet done so and I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing I'm currently counting my blessing, ascending for heavens I'm headed away from the universe, I'm coming back, not as human thing Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner Though every day is a beginning, I'm critically breathing I'm dusty, I'm kicking my engines, you nasty I speed on your thinking, that life isn't deeper You looking a lot like your people, you